Should you get surround sound for your big TV? I think you'd be crazy not to. Music, the wire for sound. Catching up on the classics is Dot and John Cody's favourite pastime. So when it came to upgrading their home entertainment system, instead of buying just a big screen TV, they decided to opt for the lot. So we bought that, then in thinking about it, we decided, hey, we need a big sound system to go with that. And they're glad they did. The colour, the sound system, just everything. It's just a bit like going to the movies, only we're in our own home. But if you rely solely on sound from a big screen TV, you may be in for a nasty surprise. Over recent years, with TVs getting thinner, the sound has gotten thinner because of less space available for a sound system inside a thin TV. Alan Todd is the owner of Todd Sound and Vision. The manufacturers therefore design your TV, expect the TV to be working through a sound system. According to Alan, surround sound systems are a lot more affordable these days. The range has also grown. Now, instead of taking up space, you can get speakers that are set in the ceiling. It makes you want to feel like you're there. That can only happen with a surround sound system. Surround sound gives you extra channels of audio from multiple directions, in front of you, to the side and behind you, and a subwoofer for extra bass. Well, Dot really likes watching the cricket on it. It's good for Andre Rieu and uh, the music from him and also for the action movies are absolutely brilliant. You get a load of it up when it's loud. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. <laughs> huh? That's pretty loud. But even if you do have a surround sound system, be warned, there is a right and a wrong way to set these systems up. Helen Harrison's had hers for five years. She reckons it doesn't sound as good as it used to. With DVDs, you get the surround sound, you can hear it in the speakers. But just on normal TV, no. We just tolerated it, it not working to its full potential, I suppose. Sounds like Helen's in need of an audit from our sound specialist. This particular speaker, I think, is in a wrong position. It's too close to this one and will work better up here. So that's the centre speaker covered. What about the rear ones? The uh, rear speaker positioning, I think that's, uh, that's going to be fine. Uh, it should work really well where you're sitting, you're equidistant, and that's great. Next, working out why the surround sound isn't working for TV channels. It's just a matter of going from DVD to digital television button here, and it'll switch through the system, and the TV sound will come through the system like the DVD. If you want computer game consoles to work through the surround sound, plug the video and sound cords into your surround sound amplifier instead of your TV. Overall, Helen, I think you're using your system to about 50%, but it's not going to be a lot to do to get it to maximum performance. Alan says spending as much on your sound system as you would your TV is a good rule of thumb. And if you decide to set up the system yourself, follow the manual. Otherwise, you could be selling yourself short. There's no point spending all the money if it's only half working. And he convinced us it would change our lives, and, and it has. We're Definitely. really happy with it. <laughs> mm. Better ask the neighbours in if you can watch a noisy action flick.